All right, hey guys, and welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be a little bit different. I actually have a little bit of a rant slash kind of discussion video that I wanna talk about, and it's to do with Galactic Assault, and it's gonna be the problem with Galactic Assault currently, because I find that it's very unbalanced, it's very hard to play in, and it's hard to stay in it for long periods of time without getting frustrated. So basically what I'm gonna do in this video is outline a few of the frustrations and things that I think could use tweaking in Galactic Assault and kind of how we could look at doing that to make it an overall better game mode, more enjoyable for a lot of people and kind of less frustrating overall. So I think this is going to be a cool video. If you guys enjoy it, make sure you smash a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what you think of this discussion and if you agree with me or if you disagree. Also, before I jump into it, if you are subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell as well. There's a cool new analytic through YouTube that shows how many subscribers actually actually have the notification bell turned on and mine is currently under 20%. So if you guys haven't got that notification bell on, make sure you tap that to get alerted every time I upload a video or go live with another stream. Anyways, getting into it, let's look at the first problem and that's lobbies emptying after a round. Now this is something that I've always found really weird and I don't know if it's something to do with server issues or you know, it's just matchmaking or what kind of issue it is. But if you've ever squatted up with friends and played GA, you always have like four, five, six of you in a squad, and I do this all the time on stream, you'll be playing in a full lobby, you've got 40 players, you know, 20 on each team, having a really good game, and then you'll load to the next map and it'll kick everybody except for the people in your squad. So you'll go from having a game of 20 on your team and 20 on the other team, to having five on your team and then nobody else will load in. This is like some really weird kind of problem that's happening and it just ruins the flow and the momentum. You've then got to all quit out, wait for everyone to load back to the menus, reload GA, hope there's a new game with five or six slots for you and your squad mates and then go back in and start all over again. You usually join a game halfway through, limits your chance of getting a hero and overall just affecting your gameplay experience in kind of a negative way. So that's something that I think should be looked into being fixed. It's super frustrating. I know guys on stream, they'll try to load in with me. You know, we get into a game, it finishes, and then it kicks everyone on the other team and on our team, except for our squad. So that's super frustrating. And I think that's one thing with G8 that needs to be fixed. The next thing I need to be fixed, and I have a couple of dot points on this one. It's, I think the vehicles are a serious problem. Now, the first problem with vehicles is that they're overpowered. You know, you get something like an ATST or an LIUV or, you know, one of the vehicles, the speeder bikes, the Taps, they're super overpowered against heroes. If you use the middle ability on one of the speeders against the hero and you actually connect, it almost melts them instantly. And at that point, the speeders or the vehicle that you're using is fast enough to keep up with the hero if they try to run away. So you can absolutely get melted by these things and players are starting to work this out. Now that players have worked this out, they're using it as an exploit to hunt down anyone trying to play as a hero. And yeah, you're helping your team, I get that, but it shouldn't be that easy. You shouldn't be able to walk up to a hero with a vehicle, press one button and essentially wipe them out in a couple of seconds. You know, it's almost as bad as the Anakin problem we've been having where he could just retribution everyone and eliminate everyone in the room. The speeders do the same thing, except they're just going to destroy heroes in like two or three seconds. So that's the first problem with the vehicles. The second problem is that they're not priced well enough. I think the battle points are way too low for a lot of the vehicles. Something like a speeder bike being, you know, whatever it is, 150 battle points or something crazy like that. You can do that off the spawn, man. Like that's ridiculous. It's the same with the LIUV on Starkiller base. You spawn in, you buff your team as the officer and you've got that vehicle right away. And you can just go and wipe out the enemy team, rack up a bunch of battle points and then get a hero for yourself, only then to be destroyed by another vehicle or a strafe runner. So things like this just just don't provide a good balance for the game mode. And I think it's really hindering Galactic Assault, which has been a lot of fun up until recently where some updates somewhere along the lines, all the things just started to go wrong with the vehicles. You know, the next point I'm gonna make is the ATST. This is now being worked out that the anti-vehicle rocket, which is meant to be used against vehicles, can one-shot enemy heroes. If you hit an enemy hero with an anti-vehicle rocket, it destroys them instantly full health to nothing. I've seen it happen countless times. I've seen tons of people complain about it. Some of the best kill streakers I know have been eliminated with 80 plus kill streaks on the run and rising with full health, one shot from an ATST and gone. That's it. Kill streak over, you're dead, no chance of coming back from that and a lot of frustration again 
from the player. So this is another big problem. You need to fix the ATSTs. Their battle points probably isn't the issue, but that one shot rocket is massive. That thing is just absolutely way too powerful. Now, the next thing that I'm going to talk about is I honestly think that the Wookiees are still a little bit overpowered. I still see this. There's a lot of damage capability coming from the Wookiees. And yes, their overload is meant to be a powerful attack. It's meant to be their middle ability. That's what they're meant to be used for. But being able to two to three shot a hero again with that overload and one shot infantry, it's kind of, it just seems like a bit much, don't you think? Like, I think maybe if you do like 140 damage or something like that, you know, make it two hits, you know, a full hit and then a bit of a hit to kill infantry and then you know a couple more hits than it already does now to kill heroes I think that's kind of where it should be at and how it should be effectively utilized personally the way it is now it's just way too powerful and it always has been you know the Wookiee got nerfed and it's still too powerful do you guys remember actually like thinking back how strong it was before they nerfed it the fact that it's still powerful now and still ridiculously OP to wipe out heroes super quickly I think it needs a change and I think it needs to be dropped down quite a bit. So I think 140 with overload activated is probably a good spot to have it. Moving on from the Wookiees though, the next thing I want to stress, and this is something that isn't even in the player's control, and it's crate. The ATM-6 on crate is going to be killing players, but as AI control. Like you think of it, you think of Capital Supremacy, right? The AI, yeah, it can kill you, but it's kind of dumb. Like it's dumbed down a little bit. It takes a fair few shots from the AI and Capital Supremacy to actually kill you. But the ATM-6 on crate in Galactic Assault literally one shots people. Like if you poke your head out as a specialist or an officer or, or an assault and that thing sees you and fires at you, you're pretty much going to be dead in one shot. So this is another thing like you shouldn't have to die instantly from something that's out of your control this is AI controlled ATM sixes we're talking about here it's not like someone's gotten enough battle points saved up for it jumped into the ATM six which you can't and basically rained hell down and destroyed everyone that's not what this is this is the AI this is a bot saying oh enemy there bang dead oh enemy there bang dead like this is a serious problem I get so sick and tired of seeing it and I know this video is turning into kind of a rant but I just want what's best for the player you shouldn't be on a really good specialist run nailing every single shot taking out everyone left right and center you're on like a 15 kill streak with the specialist and bang an AI controlled ATM 6 kills you that should not happen now don't get me wrong it should do damage absolutely but if an ATM 6 is going to kill you it should take two to three shots minimum to wipe out an infantry player. It should be lower damage like in Capital Supremacy. I think that would be a really good change. It would make it better for the players that are poking their heads out and getting hit by the ATM-6. They can then duck in and retreat and get out of the way. And yeah, if you test your fate and you keep poking out there before you've recovered your health, then it can kill you. I just think one-shotting people when they poke their head for like half a second isn't the way that the game mode needs to go. So that's specific just to crate really, but I still think it's a big problem. And finally, to wrap it up, the last thing on my list, and I'm sure there's more, but this is just kind of what I could think about off the top of my head, is these events, the vehicle weekend event. Who really thought that that was a good idea? Vehicles already cost next to nothing. They're overpowered. They wipe out heroes extremely quickly. So let's half the battle points on them. Let's allow more on the map. Let's make people spawn in with them quickly and want to play them more and more and more because they cost next to nothing. This doesn't seem logical. It's just not a good idea. I I just don't know where it came from. You know, yeah, I get it. You have your reinforcement weekend. You have your heroes unleashed. People tend to enjoy them because they're pretty cool. It makes them play, you know, the heroes a little bit earlier and do some different things with it. The vehicle weekend is just the same GA, except you've got five ATSTs on Tatooine. They cost people next to no battle points and they're just spamming down and you're not going to win a round because of it. I don't like know where the logic in that is because if ATSTs are that cheap and then you allow for more vehicles on the map at the same time, just makes zero sense to me so I think personally that event should be scrapped don't bring the vehicle weekend back or whatever you want to call it and honestly replace it with something else I'm not really too concerned with 
what you replace it with, but I think the vehicle event just needs to go. I've heard nothing but frustration from players and subscribers and people on Twitter. It's all just stuff I see getting complained about. So I think the vehicle weekend, as to top off this video, is the last thing that needs to be removed, as well as those other things that I mentioned before. Taking the vehicles down a notch, making them cost more battle points again, and then ultimately just giving it a real balance. That's what we need here is a balance. And then on top of that, fix the matchmaking issues with the empty lobbies after rounds and tone down the Wookiee just a little bit, just a little bit. So it doesn't one shot infantry and wipe out heroes in like three hits. So I think just little tweaks like that is going to be really good for Galactic Assault. Hopefully some of the right people see this video and some of these changes get made because I find myself and a lot of people that I've spoken to just playing heroes versus villains because Galactic Assault is just too frustrating. So I think if this video gets out there, it's up to you guys. I really want you to share this around. If it gets out there and gets seen by the right people, we may have a chance at getting these changes. Anyways, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, leave a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below whether you agree or disagree with me and let me know what you guys think. I am going to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I am the Twisted Jedi. I may the force be with you always. The Sith are all powerful. You are no match for me.